Several new features have been introduced in SAP Business Objects Information Design Tool 4.0 Feature Pack 3, to enhance your ability to create the semantic layers leveraged by your business intelligence reporting and query tools. In this tutorial, you will review the new features in this release of the Information Design Tool. The 4.0 Feature Pack 3 release of the Information Design Tool introduces the ability to create relational connections to SAP ERP systems which enables you to create single-source or multi-source universes that provide access to ERP data in your reporting and query tools. The connection supports ab app functions, info sets, and info set queries from R3 Enterprise, R3 4.6, MySAP ERP 2004, and SAP ERP 6.0 systems. Note that ab app function input parameters are mapped to input columns that are either mandatory or optional and joins are supported in multi-source universes only. Refer to the Create a Relational Connection to an SAP ERP Data Source tutorial for details. In addition to SAP ERP, you can also create relational connections to Apache Hadoop Hive, SAP HANA Database 1.0, Oracle EBS, and Sybase IQ 15.1, 15.2 and 15.3, including support for Sybase IQ analytical functions. With this release, you can now create OLAP connections against Oracle S-based data sources, including support for standard OLAP features such as dimensions and hierarchies, and the ability to augment the cube with MDX objects like calculated measures and named sets. Features that are specific to S-Space are also fully supported, such as user-defined attributes, dynamic time series, and substitution variables. Refer to the Create an OLAP Connection to an Oracle S-Base Data Source tutorial for details. In addition to Oracle S-Base, you can also create OLAP connections to SAP Business Objects Financial Consolidation 10, Planning and Consolidation 10, and Profitability and Cost Management 10. Note that you can also get support for Financial Consolidation BW, and Planning and Consolidation BW 7.5 and 10, through BICS via Web Intelligence. You can define custom user attributes in the central management console, and assign specific values to individual users, or have the values defined from an LDAP or SAP data source. These custom attribute values can be referenced in the information design tool using an at variable in a data security profile for a universe. Once the profile is assigned to a user or a group, the settings in the profile determine what data the user sees when connecting to the universe by substituting the value for each user at query time. Refer to the Create a Data Security Profile based on a custom user attribute tutorial for details. In the Query panel for an OLAP data source, when selecting members in a hierarchy, you can select members by named levels, for example, country, state or province, and city, or by depth, for example, level 1, level 2, and level 3. You can apply these selection options either at the root or from any member in the list. In the connection view for a data foundation, you can search for tables by name. Tables that display in the list of results can be added directly to the data foundation by double-clicking. Additional options in the secondary menu for tables in a data foundation enable you to automatically delimit table names in any SQL expressions in which they appear, and to define table qualifiers and owners. You can now view properties for each object in a data foundation, such as tables, columns, and joins, in a dedicated properties panel at the bottom of the screen. Cheat sheets are designed to help users that are new to the information design tool, by providing step-by-step -step instructions for performing major workflows. In the 4.0 Feature Pack 3 release, only the cheat sheet for creating your first relational universe is available, but additional cheat sheets will be added to the list as they are created. The Create Your First Relational Universe cheat sheet shows the five steps involved in creating a basic universe. You can click to perform a task, which automatically takes you to the appropriate part of the interface. You can perform all or part of the workflow, and then return to where you left off at any time. Refer to the Use a Cheat Sheet to Create a Universe tutorial for details. A new write is also available in the Central Management Console, that enables you to download a secured connection locally, 
which allows you to work with universes based on the connection using Web Intelligence Offline Mode. You have successfully reviewed the new features in SAP Business Objects Information Design Tool 4.0, Feature Pack 3. This is the end of the tutorial.